Um, I, I want to be part of a new leadership team so that on your behalf I can use my knowledge and experience to deliver a sustainable and profitable future. I'm one of these farmers who believes that his cup is half full and that farming matters more than ever now. I believe cheap food is a thing of the past and that consumers rate us higher now than they have in the last 20 years. And I believe that we must be proactive to capitalise on this. Not only can we champion the high values of British food, but we can also show that we can step up to the challenges ahead. With the signing of the Lisbon Treaty handing more power to MEPs, it is crucial to capitalise on our Brussels office and then engage proactively on that front. We can't always rely on our government to fight the fight. Although they're often supportive, it's often the case that they're found wanting when it comes to winning the real battles. And I'm thinking about the spray directive and EID for an example. After the next general election, there will be many new MPs and I'm determined not to allow them to influence the direction of our industry with increased regulation and, and ultimately higher costs, which leads to a loss, loss of production. We as an industry must set ourselves clear direction, which leads to a sustainable, profitable and environmentally balanced industry, which is attractive to our young farmers. The next year, two years will be critical and that we must make progress on bovine TV. There's no doubt in my mind that the reason that we haven't made that progress is purely down to the Minister, and the next election is likely to see a new Minister and new MPs, so we must capitalise on that. At present, it's been all pain and no gain for farmers, and this is not acceptable. We're going to look at cost and responsibility. Obviously, government is bust, and they're determined to transfer costs onto the industry. We need clear and transparent information and we need to know what the actual costs are. Climate change is another issue for which I'm, I'm optimistic that we are, we are in the driving seat when it comes to this. I genuinely believe that there are opportunities. We are in the driving seat to produce more from less and I think there will be some tremendous opportunities going forward. And of course, post um, camp reform, post 2013, it's vital that we don't talk that budget down. If we start talking about a reduced budget, we'll get a reduced budget. We need a level playing field for English farmers and we need to make sure they're not disadvantaged. I'm immensely proud of our industry and the influence that the NFU, and the decision, uh, the NFU has on the decision making process. I believe I can make a, make a credible and influential contribution to the policy and decision makers in the future. And I believe that as an industry, we need to develop a vision that dictates the routes to achieve it rather than leave it to politicians. Thank you very much, Anston.